Hello everybody and welcome to another Dota 2 video. We're looking at the Spring Treasure of 2022, which I just now realized that for some reason, the treasure is 1,200 credits instead of the original 10,000, which is gonna make it much more difficult for somebody like me who doesn't really play Dota anymore to kind of get at it and buy the sets this time around. So it looks like these ones will be a little bit more hectic for you to get your hands on. The first one we're going to look at is one that I actually saw in the workshop, which looks like it's been remodeled about several hundred times. As before, this was a um, this was a lion skin. Now it's a leopard-like skin. Snow leopard, that is. This is the Snowblind Survival Axe set. Uh, I think that like the quality that it was supposed to be would severely outweigh what they decided to make it look here. It's a good set overall. I just wish that Valve would have made it a normal set instead of making it the Spring Treasure set, which disappears after a while. Next, we have the God Hammer Omni Knight, which makes him look more dwarvish as he even has a more dwarvish face. Uh, again, this is another set that's probably not going to see the light of day as most Omni Knight players are full immortalized at the moment. And there's not really any spare spots of room here. The only spare spot of room for an Omni Knight right now is the hands. And apparently even that is an Immortal. So there's no spare spots as Omni Knight is the first Dota 2 hero actually to have full, full slots here. Unless Misk is, uh, is a slot that's covered in this set. Hang on, let's see. Is there a Misk? So eventually Omni Knight's going to have a Misk slot as well. So unfortunately another set that's not going to see the light of day. The Demon's Bacchanal, which is another set that's probably not going to see the light of day for Lion. This one actually increases the emphasized size of his hand here because this again is his God Finger. And it looks like that's the finger spell right there. So keep that in mind. Very good color scheme I'd say. A lot of people are going out of their way to make good color scheme sets. Next is Anti-Mage's Warden Watch. Now, this is another set I actually did look and see in the workshop, but I never actually did it because I hate ones that make him look like a witch hunter. But this one's not that bad. They sharpened it up a little bit. This one makes me look at, like, a uh, Ricky color scheme. Very nice set overall, I'd say. This is a set I did actually do a while back. The Kite of Darkness, which was defined as, which was listed as something completely different. It was like Obunaga. It was like Obunaga's, um... Obanaga's like guardian or something like that some weird thing like that but this set's nice because it actually brings again this is like very grimstroke art style because grimstroke is even based in this sort of time frame so i like this set because of that factor alone uh then we have kunkas anchors of the ages deep i absolutely like the the body here and the shoulders i hate sets that turn kunkas face into and it's a gunblade so i like gunblades Next is Death Prophets Feasts of the Forlorn. Now, keep in mind, guys, this is just a chest review, so I'm not going to actually be unboxing these. I do not like this because it's too much, like, it's too much body, I'd say, for Death Prophet. And then, like, the fetterness of the, the dress, not really something I'm keen for. Oh, what do the spirits look like? Yeah. Okay, the spirits are pretty interesting. Then we have Winter Wyvern's of the endless woe now the only problem with me looking at a winter wyvern set is that i looked at the anime and i watched the anime and i'm not gonna i'm not gonna like any winter wyvern set until we have winter wyvern in here so yeah that's that's where that one's going then we have the leafy sea dragon very rare again these will come with a random effect and a color gem this one i think is actually pretty nice i haven't seen its ground animation but i think overall oh that's a cute spawn i like it a lot of very cute couriers coming out here for the uh, for the spring treasures or for the the uh, Dota Plus treasures. But that's it for the Dota Plus Spring 2022 treasure review. And uh, yeah, we got really nothing else for you guys today. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you thoroughly enjoy this party, PD. Off. Oh, see you next time.